Okay, if you have a question for Lars, please raise your hand. How big a difference does it make now to have a game Thursday as opposed to tomorrow? We'll take every practice day we get right now. It's, it's a strange, unique situation to be in the, you know, we're not even in the middle of the season, we're only you know, just under 30 games in and you've got a 10 day pause. But the more they get on the ice right now, the better. Um, you know, again, we'll see who we have available. Just don't know right now. Every day, it's a what is it? Forest government's a box of chocolates right now. You never know what you're gonna get, so that's kind of where we're at. Every episode of Sesame Street used to be brought to you by a letter and a number. I'm not gonna go with a letter, but I will go with the number. The number is five because that's the number of games the Blue Jackets have now had postponed because of the COVID protocols in the league. The latest one coming late last night. Tomorrow's game that was to be played in Chicago has been postponed. Morning in progress. Is there some silver lining to this to be able to take a little bit of a breath here? It takes time to get up to speed, so I, I really don't have the answer for that. If we, if we come up and win, you know, eight or ten, yeah, I love it. I think it'd be great. If we win two out of ten, I'm gonna hate it. You know, I, I don't know. So we're gonna wait and see. You have to crush fingers and hope that Thursday is going to happen at home against Nashville. Who knows? It's extremely frustrating when you were rolling along and now the season has come to a stop and now there are questions about when you're going to get back to play. It makes it very frustrating. You're a day away from potentially playing your first game and uh, God knows how many games. How much would you like to just get that game in and get this thing going? Yeah, I think they want to play. You know, it, it, it's the situation is what it is. We've talked about it to that year. That's the problem. That four practice is all we talk about. So I think you guys are tired of talking about it. I certainly am. Um, they want to play. Well, the Blue Jackets returned to play tonight after having two weeks off. That's right. It was 14 days ago they played their last game, and then the COVID break was forced upon much of the National Hockey League, and the Blue Jackets have been waiting for this day so that they could get back on the ice. Predators into Columbus territory, centering pass, moves in and scores! The Predators on the rush. Blue Jackets rush it back in, Boquist, center point, long shot, and the score! Boone Jenner trying to throw it to that, tips it in, and this game is tied at one! Jenner, on for line A, line A cross ice, gets it back and scores! Tic-tac-toe, Jenner to line and the Jackets have their first lead of the night. <laughs> Shane on the right wing boards, goes into the circle, throws it uh, right in front. There's a loose puck and a score. Ryan Johansson in to get it and put it by Merzlikens. Texier across the line, but Nyquist was backing him up. Texier scores! Alexander Texier has tied it up! Three, two, and one. We're headed to a shootout. The former Blue Jacket picks it up. Moving in, Elvis almost to the hash mark. Johansson slows it down to the poke check there. <laughs> Johansson has something to say to Elvis. And he comes to his right, in over the blue line. He is through the right wing circle, and now goes in with a one-handed shot, and he scores! Granlin down the left wing, coming. Granlin scores. We're going to round five. Nyquist, Nyquist now slows it down, moves in, and scores! Gets the green light, and here he goes. Picks it up at center ice. Comes right in over the Blue Jackets line, angles to the left. He's into the left wing circle, cuts to the middle, shoots, and he hits the post! And I got two words for you! Game over! So that 
That's the way 2021 ends here at Nationwide Arena. With fans back in the building, the Blue Jackets back on the ice. And two points in the column for the Blue Jackets as they get the win. Let's get the hat. Oh. Um, all right, boys. Greasy win, found a way. Right, huge. Welcome back, Patty. What Thank you. It was a uh, great, great, great game. Uh, you know, it's been a tough couple, uh, couple weeks or so, and you guys have made it easier for me. So thank you, and uh, great win. And let's get another one. Well, tonight is a milestone night for a member of the Columbus Blue Jackets, Jake Voracek. Tonight, Jake Voracek will play in his 1,000th National Hockey League game. Ironically, there's another Jake that is going to be playing in his first National Hockey League game. Jake check. That I'll be able to say my first game was his thousandth and uh, yeah, just being around him for this is, has been amazing. Let's go line this up. Can I have one too? Okay. Dick's already you're huh? gonna give me one. Kidding, right? No. You're dead serious? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was gonna tell you all right away, but focus, ready to compete. We're simple, we're straight ahead, we're shooting down. Alright? Tonight we've got Roscoe, Bjorky, Gabby, Beaner. Guys playing his thousands game, Jake Fortune. Oh, hey! When I got traded away in 2011, uh, I didn't think my thousand, if I ever hit a thousand game, I didn't expect it to be in a Columbus jersey. But uh, you know, here I am. It's crazy how the life works sometimes, and uh, you know, obviously. It's a big milestone, but uh, you know I still got a lot of lot to add. So uh, you know, pretty excited what's uh, what's going to happen next. We never really get a chance in our career to reflect while we're still playing, but take us back to your first moment, your first game, uh, what you remember, and and uh, just just kind of if you can the emotions that you were feeling that night. You know, the first couple of shifts, you're skating around, you back checking, you forward checking, you're like you're looking around kind of. Double thinking, wow, like I'm in the NHL, right? Like this is the NHL, like I made it, like I'm I'm here, like this is unreal. And then you see Mike Modano, because he played in Dallas, you see Mike Modano just flying around with his jersey popping behind him. It was really cool to see. I've watched your evolution, Jake, and when you look back now after 999 games, uh, how much have you evolved from that first year, maybe that middle part of your career to now? Well, as you get older, uh, you get slower, right? But it doesn't mean you get worse as a player. And when you were young, you were just going, 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 right? And uh, obviously you had likes for that. But right now I know my first two, three steps aren't as good as they were six, seven years ago. But on the other hand, I think I'm more experienced and more patient with the puck than I ever been. 
and uh, that's how uh, good players stay around for for a long period of time because they find a way to adjust to the certain games, a certain level of the play, and uh, and uh, dictate the tempo of that uh, of that game because uh, they can enjoy every second of that game in New Jersey if you can. <laughs> Enjoy when every would be minute. Nice. It would be nice. Let's yeah, go with that. that. And thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks, fellas. Thank you. Have a good day. And is it disappointing at all? I know it's a big moment for Jake anyways to hit 1,000 games, but I'm guessing you guys wanted to, to get a W for him tonight. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 tough, obviously. You want to win, want to win a game for, for a guy like that. And obviously, obviously the, the younger Jake as well. Um, it's a special night for both those guys. So um, yeah. just got to get ready to go for the next one now. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks. So this is from the from the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets. Thank you very much. This is filled with. I don't okay. ever had it, so oh, but I'll it's a nice it engraving, right? So don't don't ever drink it. Oh, there's there's nothing good in there, right? <laughs> so congratulations, man. Okay. <laughs> from the boys. Congrats, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, See right there. I want to make sure it's not uh, one night. <laughs> that was awesome. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the service. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Well, guys, I know I haven't been here with you guys for a long time, but uh, you know it means a lot to me. And uh, you know, you guys gave me a new, fresh likes when I came here. You know, I had to keep up with you since the training camp, and uh, hopefully, uh, we're gonna have many more years together. So, thank you. I appreciate it. And. Uh, Let's chug it after the win tonight, eh? Let's set our gap, let's make it stiff and hard. Do not give them time and space to use their speed in the neutral zone, okay? Starters tonight, we got Jake, Roscoe, Bjorki. Welcome back, Z, Bo, and Corpy are in Come on, Jakey. Tiger? Tiger! Here's a tiger. Wow! Howdy! Hey, Say, put your shit on the water, put that. Ahoy! 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 Ciao! Ahoy! Ahoy! Ciao! Ahoy! Ciao! Ahoy! 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 Right now here at Nationwide Arena, we're about to celebrate Jake Voracek playing 1,000 games in his NHL career. The Blue Jackets are proud to select with the seventh pick NHL entry draft, Jakub Voracek. Two decades ago. Hey Jake, I just want to congratulate you on your 1,000th game. Jakey, congratulations on 1,000 games, man. Jakey, congrats on 1,000 game. Who would have thought, you know, you're a hell of a player. A lot of great memories with you on the ice and off the ice. Here's to many more, Jake, keep it going. Jake, what's up? I have a great news for you. Today you're going to play your 1,000 game in NHL. That's unbelievable. That's great. But also, I have for you bad news. If you want to really catch me, you need to play 700 more. with a silver stick recognizing his first 1,000 games representing club ownership, Colin McConnell, and Blue Jackets president of hockey operations, John Davidson. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Cool. Appreciate it. Thank you. How do I? Congratulations. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Please welcome Blue Jackets general manager, Yarmo Kekalainen. Congratulations. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Admiral. Appreciate it. And now to present a personalized Rolex watch from his Blue Jackets teammates and former teammates with the Philadelphia Flyers, Boom Jenner. Thanks a lot, buddy, eh? Right. Congrats, buddy. Thanks a lot, buddy, eh? Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Fifth line, once again, let's hear it for Jake Voracek. Thanks, nice, boys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get a fucking W, though. Ryan, what's up, buddy? Thank you. Thank you very much. What's the end of the thousand? You can't yell at the refs anymore. Oh, I probably should more, no? No, no I more. Know. Uh, Congrats. Settle, settle, settle. Game boys, uh, it wasn't pretty, but who the f cares? Bjork did great two goals, Jay, a couple assists, but I gotta give it to Corpy. He, he kept us in the game. Uh, so I don't know what to say. It feels like last time I won, it's been a while. Uh, great battle in the end, that's how you win games. Uh, let's make it a streak. Can I can I say one thing, please? No, no switch. Okay. Oh, I have to now. No. Hey, boys, I just want to say thank you. You guys didn't really have to do. I've been here for only 32 games, but uh, you know it's been awesome since the, since I got traded here. So thank you for warm welcome and uh, thanks for watch for the wine for everything. It's uh, it's been a blast so far. So thank you for the appreciation. Yeah. Jake Bean save made, there's a rebound, Ruslovic with a shot, that doesn't go, and the third chance is in! They come into the Blue Jackets' own pass, and oh, and a great save, follow-up chance, and a better save by Elvis versus Lincolns! Chinikov, he's got a breakaway, he shoots, and he scores! Jenner holds across the ice, and a one-time shot, and a score! Throw me a line A! And I got two words for you, game over! Six to nothing over the Hurricanes. They beat them for the first time this year, head to head. This was a statement win for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Boys, great game. Schinner, where you at? Way to go. Eugene, boys, just go next. Yeah! <laughs> it was a full 60. A lot of things were going our way, and, and but but we earned it with our work, and that's that's what's gratifying. And I'm happy for them. It's great to see they felt it. They felt you could tell on the bench the energy level on the bench, and that's if we could replicate that. They're not all going to go like that, but that kind of energy and, and being attached to the game emotionally is so big. Blue Jackets uh, finishing off a quick two-game trip. 
The Blue Jackets took the first game of this trip, winning in Carolina, their best win of the year. They're trying to make it back-to-back -back wins here against the best team in the National Hockey League, the Florida Panthers, tonight. Let's go, Let's Panthers! Go Panthers! Jackets are there to block it. All alone in front, Elvis with a pad save. Trying to get back up. And Florida is on the board here early. Here's Huberdeau, top of the circle, fourth in the National Hockey League in scoring, and it's 2 0. Weaver moving in, the shot scores. He moving in, scores. What a shot. Four goals in the first 13 and a half minutes. We're going to see Jonas Corposalo. Centering pass. Oh, and it is denied. Outstanding save, but then the rebound sent home. Florida coming back, a shot and a goal. Lomborg and it's tipped in. And time expired. And they continue not just to roll, but to steamroll in the Eastern Conference. Coming up. No easy game. So, you do it here. All right? 